So we're back from the 1970s. It's the modern era. It's time to shave. It's just a Monday. Let's just shave, shall we? No fancy time capsules, although I will be shaving with the Black Beauty again that Tom sent me. And uh, Tom did say he was the original owner, and he was given this in 1970 when he was 12 years old. So thanks, Tom. Again, I will be uh, it's, it's steward until it moves on to the next person, because this thing's built like a tank, I guarantee. All right, so I took a shower, did my hair. Someone asked me, what's the creamiest shaving cream that you can use? Because he said he had a problem, and his, his creams were all thin, and he wondered if it was technique or... And it could be technique. It could be too much water. It could be not enough soap. It could be any number of things. But this stuff, Taylor of Old Bond Street, which is what I recommended, and probably any scent, is so rich and creamy. It's hard to go wrong, especially if you use a synthetic brush, like this one which from West Coast Shaving, the little honeycomb snakeskin one. So we're going to use this today. I haven't used it in a while. It's the almond. Ah. <sighs> And two of my shaving favorites, as you well know, menthol and the scent of cherries or almonds. So that's what we're going to do today with the Black Beauty, as I said, with a feather blade in it. And I'm going to put it back on setting seven, because I kind of settled back into that. I used that on my fat boys, and I'm going to use it on the Black Beauty today. And for an aftershave, the Captain's Choice Nor'easter Menthol, which kind of smells like Dracar Noir. Kind of smells like this stuff. With a little bit of menthol added in. I know, that's an old bottle of Drakkar. It's like 16 years old now. Okay, I'm going to get some water on my brush here. And I say you can't go wrong with this stuff because it is so rich and creamy, it's so soft. And a synthetic brush is so forgiving. So, man, that's a lot, that's probably too much. But anyway, I like to face lather. You can get a really huge, great, fluffy bowl of lather if you use a bowl. So whatever you feel like doing, do it. This I use a little bit too much. I'm gonna kind of spread it around a little bit. <laughs> you see, this stuff, man, it is hard not. Look, you can do it with your, you do it with your hands. That's how good this stuff is. All right, put some more water on here because I feel like there's not enough. You can always add more, but it's hard to take away. So be careful. And this might just be the right amount. Might be, but it is. If you do this in a in a bowl. You will get lather for days. Creamy, rich, delicious lather. Don't eat it, folks. Even though it doesn't taste bad when it gets in your mouth, don't eat it. Because it's soap, after all. Shaving cream is soap. You don't want to eat it. All right. Black Beauty setting seven. Here we go. Ooh, that kind of tasted a little bit too soapy. I did get, get a little bit too much in my mouth just <laughs> I was being too cavalier about it. Oh, my gracious. Yes, as I said, it's Monday. We're back again. It's the end of January. We had a uh, had a birthday this weekend. We had grandparents over. We had like 24 kids or whatever. Oh, but it went all right. There was, no one was killed. No one was hurt. Hardly anyone cried. And if you've ever been to a child's birthday party, you know that if you have none of those things, or if those things don't happen, no one cries, gets hurt, gets mad then that's a roaring success. So I'm going to chalk it up to a success, ladies and gentlemen, because they can go bad so easily. Oh, so speaking of family stuff, coming up in March on the 15th through the Wednesday after that, I will be traveling with the family to San Francisco. I've never been there. The only place I've been in California so far is Los Angeles. So I've been to Los Angeles last spring break. We're going to San Francisco this time around. So if you happen to see me walking around, hanging off the side of a cable car, shirtless and shaving, you'll know it's me. So if any of you live in San Francisco, I've been trying to read up on things to do and see. You know, all the real touristy things. I'm only going to be there a few days. The family will stay a little bit longer than me. And they're heading up to look at the Redwoods, I believe. Which I would love to go see because that's where they filmed Return of the Jedi. That's Endor up there. But anyway, San Francisco itself. I think we're going to stay down in a place called Union Square. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. It's all up in the air. But I've been watching videos, both pro and con. Boy, there people have some real 
strong opinions about the state of San Francisco these days. So <laughs> I'm going to reserve judgment until I go and see for myself. Okay, there's the first pass. Doing well. <laughs> Just, I give myself, I'm doing well. Doing well. You're doing great. Great job. Great job. Anybody watches Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. You'll know what I'm referencing. And I like doing that. I like, <laughs> what did I do a reference to the other day in the last video? Oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I throw in these little pop culture, <laughs> pop culture <laughs> references just to see, keep you on your toes. It's like a little Easter egg. All right, second pass. Like I said, I'm just shaving today. I don't have anything fancy to show you. Sorry about that. I never learned my lesson. I should put it on airplane mode. What was I saying? I don't know. You know what I was saying. <laughs> when you get phone calls when you're filming YouTube videos and you just don't learn your lesson. Well, I haven't learned my lesson, I guess. So uh, if you saw my uh, one of my earlier recent videos, you saw that we have a new puppy. She's learned how to climb the stairs in the house now. So that's opened up a whole new can of worms. She's also learned how to climb out of her little pen that we keep her in during the daytime with her bed in it and everything. So that's, uh, yeah, she's able to climb now. I think we got either a cat or a monkey or a mountain goat hybrid. I'm gonna reserve judgment on which it is until uh, such time as I have more scientific and medical evidence. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. You know, I, I normally like to, on these adjustable razors, like these vintage Gillettes, I keep it on the same setting the whole shave. I keep it because I like to, because I'm able to com uh, control the amount of pressure I'm using, but I like having the blade exposed so I can get it really, really like close shave. But today I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna, I just did two passes and I could feel the blade a little bit too much on that last pass. So I'm going to tone it down to a four. Why four? I don't know. I don't know. All right, one more pass, ladies and gents. I think a little bit extra kind of messy today with the, with the shaving cream. It is so smooth and rich and cream. Taylor of Old Bond Street. You know it, you love it. If you haven't tried it yet, you should. And if you haven't got yours, send $3 in and get a free one. All right, there we go. Speaking of sending stuff, I finally, finally set off the, uh, the winning drawing, and I need to have another drawing. I said this last time. I just hit 11,000 subscribers. I need to do another one of those. Uh, you shave with what I shave with, where I put together a brush, a soap, a razor, and some blades, and give it away. I need to do that. I should probably do that on Friday. Would y'all please remind me before Friday? Because when I sit here going, what am I going to do today? Sometimes I forget. And we've been working on a lot of school stuff. Science projects, dioramas, ugh, all that stuff that kids are supposed to do, but the parents end up doing. Because otherwise the kids would never do it. I would love to meet the kid that is, you know, has got the wherewithal and the, the get-go to really put together an actual science experiment for themselves for the science fair. That could be a good science experiment. Has that ever happened in the history of elementary school? I don't know. And since it's just elementary school, it's not that, you know, it's not serious. It's not like down and dirty like you can get in high school. It's just like busy work, I guess. <laughs> At least that's the way I feel, I swear. You know, my, my son fights it every, every step of the way. And I kind of feel the same way myself. Luckily, my wife has got the drive that I lack, which is why 
I know I married well. You should marry someone that has better discipline than you do so she can keep you in line <laughs> for when you get a little lazy, you know? That's my marriage tip advice. Yeah, I'll throw that in for free. Shaving and marriage advice. Just what you didn't want. <laughs> right. Somebody uh, asked if I was going to go to the, the big shave out in Arizona coming up in March, but unfortunately that coincides right with the time I'll be in San Francisco or like right after. So unfortunately I can't do that this year, but that'd be kind of cool to go to one of those things, one of those shaving meetups. I believe they call it the big shave. I saw a video of Ken Surf's going to one of those recently. I think it was last year. It'd be really cool to meet up people with, that you see on YouTube or that uh, work at the companies that you purchase products from. Talk about shaving, but probably more, it's more about the hanging out afterwards, right? Drinking some whiskey and smoking some cigars and pipes and whatever else. All right, cold water. Ah, cold water. Mmm, so good. And look, oh God, I'm making such a mess down here. Look how much more shaving cream I have. Look at this. Look at that. Sonite, Sonite. Have I done that before? Probably. It's an old gag. Look at that. Look how rich and creamy that is. So that right there is what Taylor of Old Bond Street can do for you. I'm not affiliated with Taylor of Old Bond Street, nor am I affiliated with any shaving company. Although I have been the, uh, on the receiving end of some very generous gifts. Mm. All right. Now for the nor'easter. There's a nor'easter coming in there, are ya? That's my main accent. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> There's some accents I can do and some I can't do. That's one of them I cannot do. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Hmm. It's the kind of sting that keeps on giving. Whew. Not as bad as that cello cool though, man. That stuff, it must have capsaicin in it or something because that burns. Burns. All right, wash that off. It smells like Dracar. Got a little bit of a nick there. No big deal. Other than that, there's a little bit under there. No big deal. Either. That's it. We're all done. It's a Monday. Did a shave. Hope you had a good day today. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you have a good week. I hope all these things for you. <laughs> I will see you on Friday with a giveaway. Remind me to do the giveaway. I'm going to put together uh, 11,000 subscriber giveaway. Okay? Coming Friday. Look out for it. Until then.